Hi and welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, we'll be looking at cryptocurrencies. So currently we'll be looking at Ethereum and Cardano today. So let's dive straight right in. Okay, so what you have here is Ethereum is trading currently at 2,375 and this is the daily time chart for Ethereum. So you can see that currently Ethereum has broken past this solid trend line. So this downtrend line has been broken and you can see that EMAs are starting to support price action as well. And currently, right now, Ethereum is trying to break above this 50-day EMA. So if it does break above, this would be a very good bullish sign for us in terms of price action to get long on this position. However, you must also note that RSI is currently trading just slightly above 50. So you can tell that momentum is still struggling a bit here, although it has increased a bit, but it's best if we can see RSI holding above 50. So this is something that you need to take note that momentum is not really into Ethereum as of now. So for the breakdown of this chart, let's go into the four hour time frame. This is where we can see things a bit clearer based on support zones and resistance zones. So if I were to clear this trend line, make it a bit clearer. Right now, price action has been bouncing very nicely above this trend line. You can see this blue trend line, you can see prices have went up, retraced, made higher highs and higher lows against this trend line. So this is very good from a bullish price action because you see buyers are coming in to support prices to enable it to go higher. And furthermore, the crucial thing I'd like to highlight is that if you zoom out a bit and look to your left, you can see that there is this support zone that is very heavily contested last time. So back then, bulls so back then, buyers were coming in at this support zone trying to push prices higher. And when it eventually broke, it became a resistance zone back in July recently. And now it's just got broken up, retested a bit, broke through, but buyers came in and pushed prices up above higher. So if we are able to maintain this price action above this support zone, I believe we can see prices for Ethereum to be much higher in my opinion. So if you look at the RSI, the green line over here, you can see it's bouncing very nicely above the 50 level and currently it's looking to have more upward momentum on the 4 hourly time frame. So of course this helps us in gauging that there is some potential bullish momentum building on compared to the daily time frame. So currently I'm bullish on Ethereum. My entry price has been around 2200 to 2000 So if you have entered in at the dip as well, I think that's good. You can continue to hold and I think Ethereum in the long run, if you look at the fundamental perspective, I think there is a bull case where this cryptocurrency will be able to potentially be even bigger than Bitcoin itself due to its high utility. So with that of Ethereum, I'm bullish on this in my opinion and I do remember that currently this support zone and trend line is very crucial. So your risk that you're looking at is currently if trendline happens to break below that support zone. So if trendline breaks this support zone, our bull, our bull case will be much weakened and we can probably see a further downside to test the 1700 range. But if we continue to hold up well above this support zone, our next area of target can be this resistance zone, which is holding above 2800. That's a very good take target profit for you to take out some of your profits and let the rest ride up. So this is the trade analysis we have for Ethereum. If we look at Cardano, right now if we go to the daily time frame first, you can see Cardano is struggling a bit more than Ethereum. So if you zoom in to Cardano, you can see that prices are struggling a bit. Cardano is not that good in terms of technical analysis because right now it did break up above this 50-day EMA, the light blue one you can see over here. However, it, prices will push back down and right now buyers are still trying to break above this 50-day EMA and let's see how well price action will go above this. So let's look at the hourly time frame. So currently for the hourly time frame, we're going to see Cardano. Currently Cardano is looking at... So, so right now when you look at Cardano on the hourly time frame, you can see that there's this very obvious support zone that is form over here which recently was acting as a resistance zone for Cardano. You can see that prices got rejected here a few times over here and eventually when prices broke through it formed as new support zone and prices were retesting it now. And if it does hold up well above this support zone as well as this trend line which I'll draw over here. 
you can see that currently we have a bull case where we can expect Cardano to go up in prices much easier. So right now, currently the RSI is going up and it's holding up very well above the 50 level. So that's some bullish sign. And we see this curve down currently. So there's not much momentum in Ethereum or Cardano right now. So if we can see RSI go up, we most probably can see good price action heading towards the upside as well. So for Cardano, my next price target for it will be around this area, about, about 1.8. So that gives us a very good upside of about 40%, 30-40%. And if Cardano falls below this support and trend line, there's a bad case where it might retest the zone of $1. So that's your risk. So about a one-to-one -one risk reward. However, if you can put your stop loss here, your risk reward might be greater. So that is depending on how you trade. So currently, I would say a Cardano does have some bit of momentum, but we see some momentum being lost here. And we do need to take a look out for how well Ethereum... And we do need to take a look out for how well price action reacts. And if, it, and if price action does fall very well above the EMAs and the support and trend line, I think we have a very bull case to enter here. Plus, we have retested this support zone. It seems that buyers are holding up very well. So lastly, if you look at Cardano on the hourly time frame and zoom in a bit more, we can see that we are forming a very nice consolidation pattern here. We see a small triangle forming and a slight breakout. So what we're seeing could be a retest of this triangle before we can see further upside. We won't see a straight line up, but we see some consolidation before hitting the take profit target. So with that, that is my quick analysis for Cardano and Ethereum. I'm generally still bullish. On, so we'll continue to monitor price action and trade accordingly. So that's it for my analysis. If you did enjoy this video, do remember to subscribe, like this video, and with that, trade safe, and I'll see you again.